Hi everyone! Welcome back to Sustainable Talks with Marie and Shay. So today's topic is going to be about plastic. Plastic is a serious issue that's gaining worldwide recognition at the moment, uh, mainly because that we do have so many disposable plastics that are turning into litter and actually harming our environment and in turn harming ourselves. Plastic is currently a serious issue worldwide uh, because of its disposability and its function at the moment. So a lot of plastic that is currently being made is disposable plastics that are suited for the convenience of human consumption. So items include plastic cups, plastic uh, bottles, cutlery, plates, takeaway food boxes, plastic bags, um, and all of that kind of stuff. Plastic chip brackets, food packaging, a lot of them end up in the environment due to negligence and negligence and littering. So it's becoming a serious issue in the environment that in turn is harming us as well. So it's really important that you know we look after the environment and make sure we don't toss. Uh, put everything in the bin or keep it in our pockets or even better yet, just refuse plastic whenever possible. That's easier said than done though. Uh, so estimated around the world, there's about 8 million tons of plastic that end up in the ocean every single year. And as a result, in the past couple of years, there's been a growing recognition of the five gyres in the ocean. So they're like literally massive islands of plastic. Um, and they're not like large plastic pieces. They're really, really tiny microscopic microplastics. So plastics that have been washed down the waterways into the river streams and out into the ocean. And then from the oceans, they've traveled possibly around the world. And they end up in these massive floating islands of plastic because they're stuck within the ocean current. So um, I'll leave, have a put down a link below where you can find out more about that because it is quite sciencey and I won't explain it very well. But there are quite a few videos out there on YouTube that really explain the situation quite well. So out in the ocean the sunlight is shining onto these plastic little pieces and they're degrading these plastics into smaller plastic and they're eaten by aquatic life and seabirds because they think it's food and as a result researchers are finding that a lot of animals are dying from starvation because their stomach is actually full of plastic instead of food so this year we've seen actually quite a lot of whales getting beached up and dying from starvation because their stomachs are literally full of plastic bags fishing nets garbage bags and uh, even like washing machine liquid bottles so in the Philippines a few weeks ago they found a whale that had 40 kilos worth of plastic in its stomach that's really sad really really sad actually um, other things that have been found in the insides of animals is like plastic lids the rings around the plastic bottles a whole bunch of crazy stuff actually and like it you know it's actually really quite hard to determine what was that plastic thing before because they do grade degrade so much that at the end it's just like literally a little colorful plastic piece so according to UNESCO they estimate that about a hundred thousand marine life die every year from plastic ingestion that's really sad and really crazy really really shocking numbers to be honest so what is plastic exactly plastic actually comes from fossil fuels about four percent of annual petroleum production is used to make plastics in the world um, another four percent of the fossil fuels that's digged up is burnt to burnt for the process itself so that is to provide energy for itself so in total about eight percent of the fossil fuels that we bring up from the earth is put into plastics so it doesn't sound like a lot you know four percent eight percent but that four percent that's actually used to make the plastic itself is about 348 million tons of plastic 348 million tons of plastic that's a crap load yeah it's a lot it's a crap load like do we really need all that plastic do we really i don't 
I don't think so. I honestly don't. Plastic has been hailed as a really wonderful product. It's expanded to everything. Like you can find plastic in packaging, uh, in all the clothes that you wear, sometimes possibly in the food that you eat. Everything we do, everything we touch has some form of plastic inside it, whether we realize it or not. So plastic has indeed improved the lives of many most definitely uh, consider like prosthetic limbs um, plastics in automobiles so plastic isn't that bad because it does help society function and it does help improve the lives of many individuals but it's the use of the plastic and how we dispose the plastic that's really important so plastic can has over the years become excessively disposable created by the need for of convenience for human beings so we've gotten so lazy that we need plastic to, to help us do everything and as a result it's come at a cost it's come at the cost of the environment that we live in so subconsciously we're literally just poisoning ourselves without realizing i feel like when plastic was developed and so many different types of plastics have been created a lot of the manufacturers fail to consider the entire life cycle of plastic you know back then I guess it wasn't so much of an issue when you were using natural products if you just throw it into landfill sorry I'll just wait for this bloody helicopter Um, so, what was I saying? I feel like when plastic was being invented and discovered and being produced, the manufacturers or developers, designers, failed to consider the entire life cycle of plastics. So, you know, they looked at, oh, you know, how is it going to be made? Great. How is it going to be used? Great. How is it going to be disposed? We don't know. That's the issue. I feel like there wasn't enough resources that went into educating individuals about how to dispose of plastics and even then I, they probably even didn't think about oh you know reusing like reusing recycling for plastics wasn't much of a thing back then so you know when they created plastic bags they were like yep landfill plastic bottles yep landfill and then now we have such an issue with landfill that we're having to reconsider and redesign how we use our material goods so that it doesn't always end up in landfill and that way we can actually recycle it and reuse it for future purposes. As a result of the way that plastic was developed, recycling facilities, especially in Australia, failed to keep up with all the various types of plastics and it really wasn't great without education. So just a fun fact right now, any black plastics in Australia cannot be recycled. So you've got your black plastic bags, you might have black plastic food containers, they all can't be recycled because when they go into the recycling facility all the plastics are on a back belt and so the radar or whatever system they use i don't really know what to call it it doesn't pick up the black on black it can pick up other colors but it won't pick up black on black it'll just think oh that thing there because it's black on black it'll just assume it's part of the belt so actually all your black plastic materials don't get recycled so that's a fun fact to know yeah so when the animals do ingest the plastics they travel along up the food chain so there is accumulation of plastic and next thing you know we are ingesting it every time we eat probably seafood or anything like that so it's pretty bad the situation i mean everything's interlinked we do live in a system here where everything's connected so we can't avoid plastic at all even if we try not to have it in our daily lives, plastic's gonna rock up somewhere where the, when we least expect it. And also, um, just to mention, the production of plastic actually also contributes to climate change. So not only is it affecting our environment through pollution and litter, but it's also affecting our climate through greenhouse gas emissions. So it's really important that we do start recycling plastics so that way we don't have to spend so much energy and so much resources to actually make new plastics so what's the solution best thing to do is avoid plastics completely but that can be pretty hard i know but it does 
it does it is possible it is attainable like for me i started giving up plastics about five years ago and i first did it through plastic free july which is a really great initiative where for the month of july you try to give up plastics it can be like one or two different types of plastics or no plastics at all so last year i tried to give up all plastics so that included like i couldn't buy meat from the supermarket because it came in a plastic packaging i couldn't buy chips i couldn't buy fruit that came in a plastic bag i couldn't buy biscuits i literally had to make everything myself it was fun it was really fun and it's it's a really nice experience to challenge yourself and to help I guess yourself grow and see what you are capable of the easiest way to give up plastic is actually to give up the disposable plastics so the main disposable plastics will include plastic straws plastic bags plastic cutlery or takeaway coffee cups and definitely plastic bottles plastic bottles are one of the worst things I ever see to make a one liter plastic bottle you require three times as much water so that is about three liters of water to make one plastic bottle to then hold a liter of water so worldwide like can you imagine when you buy a 24 pack of water from Coles or Woolworths 24 times 3 that's like 72 is that 72 liters of water 72 liters of water for plastic bottles you just drink the water then you throw away the plastic bottle you're literally throwing away 72 liters of water every time you buy a 24 pack of water bottles that's insane so you know there are many options you can just go back to old school options to reduce your plastic waste so BYO cutlery BYO bottle get a reusable one it's not that hard to rinse it out BYO bags and try avoid the plastic reusable bags that Woolworths and Coles are sending because at the end of the day they're still bloody plastic and BYO coffee cups it's so here is a collection of some reusable products that I use to reduce my plastic waste so when it comes to straws um, plastic straws are a huge issue so here I've got my own cutlery set I've got chopsticks, fork, spoon and straws and I keep it in this nice little pouch that I got with these straws when it comes to shopping I bring my own tote bag in my backpack every day um, and they wrap up so well this one I got from monster threads and it folds up into this little pouch so it's super compact so I use these bags whenever I go shopping whether I'm buying clothes or groceries they're really useful and they're a lot more durable and comfortable to carry than plastic bags because plastic bags can kind of like hurt your wrists or arms if they're really heavy but the toe bags are just sling on my shoulder and they're really really good and super big as well might I add and um, I always carry my own water bottle with me so this one I also got from Monster Threads it's like those thermal bottles so it keeps water cold for 24 hours or it keeps it warm like if you have tea for 12 hours so it's really nice on either really hot day or a really cold day and of course when I do go shopping as well I always bring my own produce bags so I don't have to use plastic produce bags so here I've got some Aesop cotton bags that I've accumulated over some purchases and I also bought these nice netted bags so I put my tomatoes in there or grapes or whatnot um, if I buy like one or two apples then I don't bother with putting it in here but when I get a bunch of something I just chuck it in here and it's really useful I think I got like a pack of five for these and they come in varying sizes for only ten dollars so it's super cheap um, so these are some really nifty ways that you guys can reduce plastic waste it's honestly a habit thing so once you get yourself into the habit of you know preparing your things it's a lot easier to do so you know every day when I go out I always make sure to pack a tote bag in my bag because you know I'm, I'm not expecting to go shopping but sometimes I might I'm like unexpectedly pop by the store so it always comes in handy maybe set yourself a challenge and try to give up one of those disposable plastic products for a week or two and see how you go maybe give up plastic straws for a week or plastic bags or even better plastic bottles because honestly we society was able to function without plastic products before 
and I honestly think we can do it again. I'm not saying that all plastics are terrible because as I mentioned there are some types of plastics that are really good and beneficial to society but I think it's also really important to decide which plastics you need in your life and which plastics you don't and might I just add like by getting rid of those plastics in your life like or avoiding them in the first place I find my life a lot easier in terms of I don't have to spend the energy to deal with the waste part of it does that make sense so like if I don't buy a plastic bottle I don't have to waste my energy on disposing that plastic bottle I can use my energy to something else and if you guys do decide to use or continue using certain plastics just try to be more aware of its end of life cycle so how to dispose it maybe do some research into how to dispose certain plastics uh, I know with soft plastics like plastic bags and chip packets you can recycle them at your local supermarket Coles and Woolworths and they get recycled back and made into park benches which is then sold to schools and councils which is really nice and with plastic bottles they can obviously be recycled into your mainstream recycling uh, bins council bins um, plastic straws unfortunately are a bit of an issue because they're a bit too small sometimes so they don't actually get picked up from the in the recycling system so most of the times they do end up in landfill or up the nose of poor turtles in the ocean i don't know if you guys have seen those videos but it's quite horrific i'll put the link down below um yeah and that said like a lot of the times when you do send things to recycling sometimes the recycling system itself is 100% perfect so it won't pick up what needs to be recycled and whatever doesn't be, get picked up ends up in landfill and then when things are up in landfill there's you know nature at work there's water going on there there's winds going on there so they can get blown away quite easily and then end up down on the roads once they're on the roads they end up in the sewage system once they end up in the sewage system they'll end up back into the ocean and most of the time there's no pollution traps to capture all the waste before they get into the ocean so they just go openly out into the ocean and they might end up somewhere in China and hurt the poor animals in the Asian oceans so what ends up happening is my rubbish becomes your rubbish and your rubbish becomes my rubbish which I find really annoying I just want you guys to think about that when you guys do use plastics consider just be accountable be accountable for your actions and your choice and make sure you do the right thing and dispose of the waste properly because you don't realize it but you're definitely hurting someone out there every time you use plastic whether they are a human being or whether they are animals and you're in turn hurting mother nature when plastics end up out in the ocean it doesn't only affect animal life, marine life and seabirds and all of that stuff, it also affects society and peoples. So you know when fish are ingesting plastics and the fishermen go to catch their fish but they realize a lot of their fish might have plastics in them so one they can't probably sell it, b if the plastic consumption is so huge that the fish, school of fish themselves are dying off and the numbers are drastically reducing then of course that affects their livelihoods because they don't have enough fish to catch they don't have enough fish to make money and live and have an income and support their families and then they can become unemployed and then that in turn then affects their family household unit and then that family might affect their community as well so every time you guys do use something or buy something or do something you guys have an impact you guys have an impact on your immediate circle, on your family, on your friends. But you guys also have an impact on the world. Just remember that. So, that's all from me today. I hope you guys have learnt a few things about plastic today. It's a very brief video because I do notice that my videos can be quite long and lengthy so I don't really want to bore you guys but if you guys want more in-depth videos about plastics I can certainly break them down for you and just let me know by commenting down below and if you guys have found this video quite interesting give it a thumbs up and let me know if there's any other future topics 
that you want to know about and I hope you guys do set yourself a challenge of you know trying to reduce one type of plastic at least maybe do it with your friends or with your work colleagues and see how you guys go and make it a bit more fun and maybe it'll pump you guys up for this year's plastic free July and you guys could probably really ace it uh, so I will be documenting my time during that period as well and I hope to see you guys in the next video I'll see you guys next time bye